So one other, uh, one other kind of side hop is, you know, instead of both tires going up the same direction, one goes one way, one goes the other way. So that works as well. Thanks, folks. Uh, yeah, I'll just kind of do a few more, uh, a few more sort of, again, just tire, tire placement kind of maneuvers. I need to get to these parallel beams here. So, with a, a light kick from my drivetrain and uh, a bit of a body weight transfer, I can uh, move the bike around like this. A few movements kind of like this that are quite handy when you're riding in different places, different terrain. And of course, yeah, trials is very practical, of course. Um, often not quite a lot of kind of flair, but you can kind of, you know, mix things up and kind of play around. Uh, you know, mixing it up. Oh, yeah. So, messing around, that's kind of, kind of what, uh, Kind of what this show is all about, you know. Just usually trials riders are, you know, we have a very set purpose. Okay, ride over this, this, this. Try not to put your foot down, and that's trials. And this is kind of uh, oh, just a bunch of strange platforms and stuff to ride on. So let's uh, try to do it in a way that's enjoyable. Um, like this one, actually, I'll try doing another another side hop here. Going for the uh, go for a regular or 180? I'm thinking the regular side up on regular. these things. All right. And then maybe a 180 when I'm up there. 180, okay. And there it is. And there's a couple different kinds of ways to do a 180. But I, I want to talk about the track, 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 track stand first, Roger. Okay. Yeah. You, you want to talk about the track stand? I'll talk about the track stand. Doing one right now. I'll do one. Yeah, so. So the track is a real basic thing, and of course it's really important to have basis for a lot of balance skills you can do out on the trail or on the road or anywhere. The idea there is you got your wheel turn, so when you move the bike forwards and backwards, you actually turn a little bit sideways. And that's why you can keep yourself dynamically stable. The reason it's called a track stand is because on a track bike with a fixed gear, you can pull the bike forwards and backwards. And another surface like this bike with a freewheel, you have to be able to roll backwards under gravity. So normally you do it on a side hill. Here Ryan's actually hanging his back wheel off the back of his beam a little bit. It takes practice to do it up there, but it's a great thing to be able to do on the road and uh, just a good way of working on your balance with low speed. And you can go on and do it for a long time when you're good. So yeah, that's the track stand spiel. Nice one, Robin. So, you gotta, um, you, I, one thing you don't like to see is people at, at the traffic lights doing bad track stands. Life's too short for bad track stands. <laughs> so put your hands together for Ryan, and we go to the next thing. There it is. <laughs> um, life is too short for bad track stands because you probably will get plowed down by a car if you're practicing. Well, and if you're, you know, I'm sitting, here, section, I'm sitting so. here in my car critiquing somebody's track stand and feel guilty for not riding my bike. So I feel, I feel doubly like pained by the whole process. <laughs> what are we doing next? Are you so, going to go to uh, my uh, yeah, maybe here somewhere? Play around on one wheel because that's that's where really it's fun. fun. That's where it's fun, guys. Put your hands together for this little one. That's the best thing as well, just do these back wheel place to place and riding over stuff that's impossible to ride any other way. So cool. So uh, yeah, let me uh, show you a classic bunny hop. Again, it's something that is uh, one of those skills that you just gotta learn if you're if you're a rider. The bunny hop. So you can bunny hop up curves and stuff like that without a worry. So it looks pretty much like this. Yeah. That's uh -huh. right. Yes. Um, how about Ryan here a little bit? Find a speed bump to practice learning how to do that if it works well. Um, but uh, yeah, let me let me go go higher and faster, or at least higher. I might.
might try to go uh, a little further. So I just did these, these uh, hit all four. I'm gonna just try to hit two of them this time. That's the idea. Second one. You guys ready for the second one? I think so. I feel it. I'm feeling the vibe. We're feeling the vibe. Let's do it. There it is. Oh yeah. Ah. Yeah, well, we didn't quite have the vibe. One more try. Do the vibe. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, the vibe was there. It engaged the vibe. So if the vibe is a wave, does that mean you can have like constructive or destructive interference with the vibe? Let's get on the constructive interference with the vibe here. The yeah, vibe. Perfect. A vibeness. There it is. The second time. That's what I'm talking about. So you get a ride the crest of the vibe, not the backside of the vibe. Rob, Rob is a physicist. 